Welcome to another episode of Commission Thursday. Happy New Month, and I'm hoping that you're enjoying the season, uh, especially this season of Empowered Voice. So turn with me in the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 2, uh, 2 Timothy chapter 2, uh, verse 2, I'll read from the Passion Translation. And the scripture says, And all that you've learned are from me, confirmed by the integrity of my life. Pass on to faithful leaders who are competent to teach uh, the uh, congregation the same revelation. You know, as I was reading this portion of scripture, it's amazing. Uh, Paul is so sure of one thing, and he's saying, and all that you have learned from me. You know, some, some of us are not able to step out of our comfort zone because probably nothing that can be said about us. Look at what Paul is saying. He has this confidence. He has this assurance that everything that you have learned from me, what has people learned from you? I know God has planted you as a voice. God has planted you as a light. There is this song that we used to sing some time back that carry your light, go shine out into the world. Go shine in the dark world because the greatest assignment of every Christian is to step out of their comfort zone and to go into the dark world. But I will tell you the truth. Majority of people are afraid to step out of their comfort zone, the four corners of the church where the light is so bright and to go into the dark world because they are assured or they know that the moment they step out of that, uh, they step out into that dark world, there is nothing that will be said of them. And Paul is reminding us of one thing, that whatever you have learned, whatever you have observed from me, then he says, I love the Passion Translation says, that has been confirmed by the integrity. Does everything you do has been confirmed or backed up by the godly integrity? Because you cannot carry your light into the dark world if, you are, if your light is not brightly shining. Some of us are in charge and our candles are fading away. Some of us are in charge and the virtue or the values or the fibers of integrity are fading away. And this challenge for us this week, do you have that integrity that can be tested into the dark world? Do you have the integrity that will stand the test of time? Do you have the integrity that when the dark world will tend to rob you in every corner, you will still stand? And this is what Paul is telling the, uh, the church today, that whatever you have learned, whatever you observe, and has been confirmed by the integrity, and trust everything to other people. Now, I know we are living in a generation whereby we look at the people, and we look in the position of leadership and one thing that is so evident and so clear is the gap in between because one generation has not been handing over the mantle to the next generation and that's a very uh, that's a very big failure in the church and when we talk of the church many people tend to exclude themselves from the picture because we tend to define the, the church from the houses where we worship but I want to remind you you and me we are the church so if I fail where God has planted me, I'm not the ambassador of the kingdom of God. If I fail in the family, I'm not the light of the church in my family. If I fail in my marketplace, I'm not the salt of the world because people in the marketplace cannot test or feel the, uh, feel the, uh, the can, people cannot feel the taste of the gospel wherever God has planted us. So this particular week, my challenge for you we always say every week that I am the light of the world. I am the salt. I'm the ambassador. I'm the carrier of the message of good news. Now, if you quote these verses and you talk about them, are they backed up with their integrity in the real life? How many will not say ground be any different? Let whatever you do, whatever you say, let it be compatible with what you are quoting in the scripture. And through that, we are going to trust this to the next generation or the next group of leadership and we will never have the gap in the leadership. May God bless you as you step up to the challenge to be the light, to be the salt, and to be the carrier of the message of good news. Be blessed.